Yeah, so if you're not feeling restricted, then you would not want to take a binge treat cheat meal. Do not cheat on your plan. Okay? Don't cheat on your girlfriend, don't cheat on your boyfriend, don't don't cheat on your husband, don't cheat on your diet. Come on, take a treat. And don't apply the treat logic onto your partners. Come on, okay? Don't take this too seriously. <laughs> All right, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel Zerocity. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Melon Soman's What I Eat in a Day. And basically, I got a few requests for uh, this video, basically Melon Soman What I Eat in a Day. Please review, please review, etc, etc. And I was like, okay, let's do some research on this guy first because I don't honestly know who Melon Soman is, okay? So, upon my research, I understood that he's basically a 55 year old and he looks really amazing, really dashing and females all go bam, bloom, all crazy about that guy. And I would also be crazy about the guy if I were a female. <laughs> well, he's actually really good looking and he's basically a runner. He's been into athletics, swimming, running, he's done triathlons and he's he's like really super fit. He's been into athletics a lot extensively. He's done that and that's, that's very commendable. Let's see what this guy really does because I was living under a rock. I did not know who this guy is and let's actually see what he eats in a day. I can't. Okay, so generally... Okay, look at the amount of chill that this guy has. He's having, I think, what's, what's that? I think it's ice cream maybe? Like he looks so cool. What the hell is that in his hand, dude? I really can't figure out if that's kulfi or ice cream. I think that's kulfi or ice cream. Well, look at the amount of chill in the guy. He's literally chilling with a chilled ice cream, I guess. If that's what he's eating. But the sheer amount of swag that this guy carries. Whoa. Okay, so generally, I eat very simple food. I've had this uh, habit since I was a child because I was in competitive sports. So I was very conscious. For me, the meaning of healthy food is food that you can digest easily. And when I'm saying food, is whole food, not refined food. Not re well, whole food and refined food. And the food that's basically easy to digest is healthy food for him. I somewhat agree to that, okay? Now, by some standards, people would consider meat as something that takes longer to digest. Well, some of the fibers and vegetables are also hard to digest for some people. So that does not mean it's unhealthy. Okay, like for me, someone like me who's been, who's had IBS in the past, I do not, I do not have a lot of vegetables. If you see my what I eat in a day video here, like I do not, I cannot eat a lot of vegetables. If I eat lots of vegetables, I literally like my gut starts cramping. Vegetables, literally broccoli. Can you imagine broccoli can be unhealthy for me? Fiber can be unhealthy for someone who's who's had IBS in the past or who has IBS or like you see basically the definition of healthy is really ambiguous and subcalliard health ka definition can be very different for someone healthy can be having vegetables some protein from eggs chicken etc etc and com combination of the dal rice curd etc for someone like me I really can't have too much of dal, even dal, chickpeas, rajma can make me bloated and it can really, really like mess up with my gut health. And basically that is what he said. He, you can, if you can digest it well, then that's basically healthy food. So please get this right. Ki sab ke healthy food can be very, very different and don't like blindly go with what someone else is eating and think ki, ha, ye healthy yoga. Kyunki ye ta fit hai aur ye khata hai, to basically ye healthy hai. This is what the logic is of people right so just just wanted to clear this out well let's go ahead so breakfast um fruits i eat a whole papaya or maybe two if they're small um i eat uh, half a watermelon because watermelons are big mm -hmm. i eat uh, whatever seasonal fruit there is suppose it's a mango season then i have uh, five or six mangoes um i eat a lot of bananas um then i eat if i'm still hungry then i eat some cereal I eat some muesli or dried fruits and stuff like that. For, for lunch, I usually have dal and rice and vegetables. Dinner is the same. And I try to stay away from um, things that are heavy to digest, which, which is like uh, non-vegetarian food, for example. So let's get one thing out of the equation right off the bat, okay? Now, as I told, dal rice, if you think that's easy to digest and non-vegetarian food is not easy to digest, you are absolutely wrong here okay like literally aisa aisa nahi hai ki aap 
आप अगर नॉनवेज खाओगे आपका डाइजेशन खराब हो जाएगा लाइक ट्रस्ट मी आई ईट मीट चिकन फिश प्रॉन्स एंड स्टिल द दाल राइस एंड चिकपीज कैन गेट मी लाइक बैड डाइजेशन एंड रूइन माई गॉट हेल्थ अगर आप एवोल्यूशन को देखोगे जैसे ह्यूमन्स ने इवॉल्व किया है विफ ग्रोन ईटिंग मीट It's basically the one of the most nutrient dense foods on the planet. Even if it is hard to digest, the body is capable to digest it. That is why meat and evolution has like a great role. As a meat plays a significant role in evolution because it's like it's designed in a way so that humans can digest it, right? See, red meat, chicken, egg yolks, eggs, they don't cause any problems. I just say like it's been overhyped this causes heart disease this causes cancer this causes health digestion problems do what suits your body do what works best for you theek okay? hai if if he thinks it's working best for him then all right but non vegetarian is not particularly hard to digest theek okay? hai agar aapko protein mil raha hai which your body needs because aapke body mein muscle hai to obviously you should be giving some protein to your body right aur agar aap breakfast mein agar aap sirf fruits itne sare fruits kha rahe ho aap glycemic load ki baat karo पांच छह मैंगो एक बार में वैसे देखो अभी अगर आप इनको देखोगे मिलन सोमन को ही इज नॉट अनफिट बाय एनी स्टैंडर्ड्स बट व्हाट इज योर डेफिनेशन ऑफ फिट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फिटनेस द फिट बीइंग फिट हैज बीन वेरी मैनिपुलेटेड बाय टुडेज वर्ल्ड द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड राइट इफ यू सी अ रिलेटिवली लीन पर्सन यू थिंक दैट ही इज फिट हाँ चलो ठीक है ही लुक्स फिट ज्यादा मोटा नहीं है तो फिट वैसे आजकल तो लोग थोड़ी बहुत स्टोन निकलने लगी है एंड स्टिल दे आर लाइक अरे मेरे को जरूरत नहीं है डाइटिंग के मैं फिट हूँ बट इफ यू आर इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग ऑल द न्यूट्रिएंट्स फ्रॉम फूड दैट योर बॉडी रिक्वायर्स द प्रोटीन द माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स द एसेंशियल फैटी एसिड्स एसेंशियल ओमेगा थ्री फैटी एसिड्स विटामिन ए डी ई के एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व जो आपको वेजिटेरियन फूड में नहीं मिलता है सो मेनी ऑफ माई क्लाइंट्स कम टू मी सेंग कि सर आई हैव बी ट्वेल्व डेफिशंसी सर आई हैव डी थ्री डेफिशंसी एंड दे डोंट ईट एग्स दे डोंट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन देयर ओवरऑल प्रोटीन इनटेक एंड दैट्स वॉट्स कॉजिंग दीज प्रॉब्लम अगर आपको नहीं हुआ अब तक बी ट्वेल्व डेफिशंसी या डी थ्री डेफिशंसी दैट डज नॉट मीन कि आपको कभी नहीं होगा लाइक यू कैन टेक अ सप्लीमेंट फॉर इट बट अगर आपको जो फूड से मिल रहा है तो फूड से लो ना दैट्स माई पॉइंट ठीक है द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फिट जस्ट मेक इट थोड़ा सा लाइक क्लियर ओके लाइक फिट डज नॉट जस्ट मीन कि ठीक लग रहा है डिसेंट अच्छा मसल मास है तो फिट है यू शुड भी फोकसिंग ऑन योर न्यूट्रिशन एंड गेटिंग ऑल द न्यूट्रिय दैट योर बॉडी नीड्स जो बाहर से दिखता है वो अंदर से फिट होना जरूरी नहीं है ठीक है एंड आई नॉट सींग इज अनफिट बाई एनी स्टैंडर्ड लुक एट द गाय लुक एट द गाय टॉप क्लास सी लुक्स सुपर अगर आप इंस्टाग्राम भी देखोगे उनका लाइक इवन इन इज यंग एज लुक एट हिम लाइक ही लुक्स सो नाइस एंड मस्क्यूलर एंड इफ यू सी हिज पिक्चर लाइक रिसेंट पिक्चर He is definitely lean. You can see his muscle mass. You can see his visible abs. Definitely around thirteen, fourteen percent, fifteen percent body fat for sure. That's great if you're maintaining that. But your nutrients on point. Who na? Your body ke liye andar se acha hai. Eighty percent bhi apki fitness hai. If you can get it to eighty-five percent, ninety percent, why wouldn't you take that, right? So I'm definitely not saying he's unfit. But if you if he can like increase his micronutrients and protein from food, he should. and i don't think the dal vegetables and rice and the mangoes five six mangoes and a lot of fruit is the healthiest thing on the planet where's the goddamn protein any time any time do dial out this guy now maybe he just doesn't know a little bit more about the micronutrients and protein but hey look at the guy he's so freaking cool I, what is the best time to work out any time literally any time this is practical advice This is what I want to portray to you guys in my videos. When someone says, "Oh, you need to work out in the morning," that's the only best time to work out. No, duh. <laughs> work out whenever the hell you want to. जो भी आपको सही लगे, whatever time feels right to you, that is the best time to work out. I feel nice to work out at around six to seven p.m. in the in the evening. I just finished my workout and I'm here. my brain is super active because of the workout and this is when i'm most active my body is extremely like strong i feel super energetic like a superman who will tell with lal chaddi <laughs> anyway <laughs> so if you don't know what the lal chaddi reference go here tap on this <laughs> anything <laughs> so so to me like i said there's nothing uh, particular that i eat i focus more on on whole food raw food natural food local food seasonal food so less processed less packaged uh and less refined these are the three things that guide me when i'm eating anything i don't have okay so this was epic okay 
what is the best time to work out any time what do you eat after work out anything <laughs> super cool guy dude milan i love you man super so he's basically his definition again very simple he keeps it simple less processed less refined whole food simple natural food it is absolutely nice to emphasize whole foods and unprocessed foods but yahi natural foods mein thoda sa protein that's my only problem hey dekho you know me you know me i always say this and i'm going to say it again minute so man you need to eat your goddamn protein protein kha lo yaar kya hai tum bhi aur fit ho jaoge like i love you that's why i'm saying this to you eat your goddamn protein <laughs> okay i don't have any restrictions so i don't need to cheat um well it's awesome he doesn't have any restrictions he doesn't feel he is restricting himself so why the hell would you want to cheat that's why i always say jo bhi aapko treat lena hai cheat nahi treat have it within your overall food overall calories you can make things healthy at home jaise if you want to have popcorn wo conventional jo popcorns aate hai act to act to jo bhi milta hai with so much oil so much preservatives usse acha कॉर्न सीड्स लो घी डालो पॉपकॉर्न खुद बनाओ घर के अंदर प्रेशर कुकर के अंदर नमक मसाले सब डालना है डाल लो आप दिस सो सिंपल सच अ सिंपल एडवाइस जो भी बनाना है घर पे बनाओ मेक इट हेल्दी एंड मेक इट हेल्दी देन लास्ट टाइम ये सो इफ यू आर नॉट फीलिंग रिस्ट्रिक्टेड देन यू वुड नॉट वॉन्ट टेक अ बिंज ट्रीट चीट मील डू नॉट चीट ऑन योर प्लान ओके डोंट चीट ऑन योर गर्लफ्रेंड डोंट चीट ऑन योर बॉयफ्रेंड डोंट डोंट चीट ऑन योर हजबेंड डोंट चीट ऑन योर डायट कम ऑन टेक अ ट्रीट and don't apply the treat logic onto your partners come on okay don't take this too seriously <laughs> um well if, uh, when i live by these three things so unrefined when i say unrefined and see you talk about one element of food which is very common which is sugar so when you're talking about unrefined sugar what is unrefined sugar so sugar comes from sugar cane or from palm trees or whatever you take it as close to the source as possible so we know jaggery refined sugar doesn't have any nutrition at all it has no minerals no vitamins nothing is just sweet but jaggery has a lot of it and that is extremely nutritious so if i want something sweet i don't eat refined sugar i eat jaggery so that is an example theek okay. hai so what he saying is right with his logic sugar say better it's jaggery to consume i'm not saying ki jaggery mein zyada nutrients nahi aate but let's break it down and see agar jaggery mein nutrients ki jo baat hoti hai vitamins minerals iron hai ye hai vitamin a hai potassium hai kitna hai and let's see kitna log actually khate hai 100 grams of jaggery may contain about 383 calories basically uh, every gram of carbohydrate gives you 4 calories okay and basically 100 grams is basically somewhere around 400 calories right so aapko sugar mein bhi utne hi calories milne wale hai utna hi glycemic index load hone wala hai basically aapke blood sugar utna hi spike hone wala hai utna hi amount of same amount of calories same everything okay basically sugar aur jaggery mein okay now coming to the nutrients in 100 grams you will get 11 mg of iron nobody is consuming 100 grams of jaggery in a day 100 grams of jaggery se aapko itna sara sugar bhi milega jo aapko it can like it can spike your blood sugar too much it can spike your insulin too much and that can be really unhealthy for your hormones right and that can lead to diabetes over time would you nobody is eating 100 grams people hardly take like 5 10 grams of jaggery which is like hardly a 1 mg of iron ab jaise baat kare potassium ki 1050 mg in 100 grams. Well, that is good. Understood. अगर आप 10 ग्राम ले रहे हो उसमें आपको 100 mg तक पोटाशियम आ सकता है सुपर बट इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट उससे कम ग्लाइसेमिक इंडेक्स उससे हेल्दी सोर्स समथिंग लाइक कोकोनट कोकोनट वाटर सुपर सोर्स ऑफ पोटाशियम ओके सो यू कैन इंक्लूड जैगरी बट है मॉडरेशन ऐसा नहीं है कि आप शुगर की जगह पे आप कितना भी जैगरी ले सकते हो एज वी सीन इन द कोमल पांडे वीडियो शी वॉज एडिंग टू मच जैगरी इन हर चाय थिंकिंग दैट इज सो मच बेटर दैन चीनी मैं बिल्कुल चीनी नहीं लेती हूँ well chini and jaggery are pretty much the same if you want to save up on your sugar and calories and if you want to avoid the high blood sugar spikes and avoid ending up a diabetic or a pre diabetic then it's always better to go for a sugar free natura or something like stevia monk fruit sweetener that's always the best okay and that's what i always tell everybody it's a simple swap and it's not like ki har cheez processed is always bad okay get that right stevia is basically a plant based sweetener so agar aapko actually if you want to consume really natural then stevia is the best okay and it's way 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 better than sugar um when my best form of exercise uh, which i enjoy and it's really important to do things that you enjoy 
otherwise you can't sustain it. I love to run. Exercise, apart from running, I do about three minutes every day and that's enough for me. Uh, I have never been to the gym in my life. The gym has never been a kind of habit. I don't like gyms. I don't like indoor spaces. I like outdoors. And uh, the exercise that I do for three minutes is a one minute plank, one minute of push-ups, as many push-ups as I can do. And the third minute is as, as many burpees as I can do. So when I do that, it really keeps my core strong. It keeps me flexible. Uh, it keeps me uh, it keeps me energized. So that's all I need to do every day. Okay. Now, he started off with a wonderful thing, okay? Like you like form exercise ka form, pasand hai. what you like is what you should be doing over time, okay? And yes, strength training offers more muscular strength benefits, okay? You can get stronger, you can do deadlifts, bench press and these are all strengthening ke carryover effects in our life. Mein. Jaise, suppose if you, if you can do a 150 kg deadlift, it's going to be easier for you to lift a car that was like in the khadda or in the, in the hole, right? जैसे सुल्तान मूवी में आपने देखा था जैसे वो ट्रैक्टर उठा लेता है पूरा बिकॉज यू आर स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग राइट सो लाइक इफ यू ट्रेनिंग फॉर स्ट्रेंथ इट विल मेक यू इट विल हैव अ कैरी ओवर इफेक्ट इन योर लाइफ लाइक इफ यू आर स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट्स वन बिग एस्पेक्ट ऑफ योर फिटनेस राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक इफ यू वॉन्ट गो द एक्स्ट्रा माइल देन जस्ट स्टार्ट स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इवन ऑल्टरनेट डेज दैट्स फाइन थ्री डेज अ वीक इवन टू डेज अ वीक इट्स फाइन Like for 30-40 minutes in two days a week. You can't you just invest one or two hours extra for your own health and for your own overall fitness. Taking you from 80 to 85, 90 to 95, 95 to 100. Beat that. Even if he's a 95 out of, out of 100 in fitness, that extra strength training can just take him to 100. That's just what I'm trying to say here. This was the end of the video and my summary again is just that he's missing his goddamn protein. I really think he's goddamn super fit mill and so on. But... He's missing out on one aspect of it. And that would be really... Like, I'd be really glad to see Milan Soman doing a little bit of strength training, adding his adding it into his routine here and there. But yeah, look, he's doing the push-ups, so I don't have much to complain. I'm not saying he's unfit by any, any standards. He looks, he looks like super sexy and awesome. I don't know if I'll ever look that like that in my 50s. That would be the goal. To look even better than him. when i'm 55 but here like he's one top class person okay i really respect this guy now i really think that he's inspiring a lot of people to start running start taking care of their health even when you're 55 that is super awesome to see all right so if you like this video then hit the like button share this video with your friends and family and girlfriend and boyfriend and gym buddies subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever i post my videos and if you want to hit me up for my personal coachings and video consultations then this is my instagram i would love to help you please go over there and you can also take my updates what i do in my day to day life and what i eat on my instagram you can keep seeing my updates and thank you again for watching this video Stay safe, stay blessed, eat your goddamn protein, watch your goddamn zero city videos, take your goddamn self care. Ye kya tha? All right, bye.